Good morning, I'm Kate Irby and these are the Bradenton Herald top headlines for Friday, October 23rd. Our top story today, Keishana Thomas has been charged with abuse of a dead body as well as aggravated child abuse against her now missing and presumed dead 11-year-old daughter, Janiah Thomas. New details from police reveal that Thomas dropped a freezer off at her relative's house claiming she was being evicted. When relatives asked why it was locked, she said she didn't want them stealing her meat. Actually inside the freezer was a dead body, which will likely be identified next week, folded into a cardboard box. In other top news, a prescription drug task force is looking for solutions to the heroin epidemic in Manatee County. They want to track overdose victims after the administration of overdose stopping medication, seeing who is seeking help and who isn't. They also want more partnership with schools to educate young people about the dangers of opioids. The Manatee Education Foundation gave out more than $120,000 on grants to 400 Manatee County teachers in 52 different schools Thursday. The grants are used for various projects, including bringing a garden to life, building a hot air balloon, and constructing art projects in the front of the school. Check out these stories and more in the Bradenton Herald and at Bradenton.com.